Vegapunk's new creation, Seraphine, who are also known as the new humanoid weapons, are basically Lunarian cyborgs, and we know from Kuma that to make such a thing, he needs a Lunarian to run experiments on, and that is why I think Hancock was captured at that time. She was supposed to be a human experiment for Dr. Vegapunk. It also explains the obvious as to why the Seraph looks so much like Hancock. It was basically made from her genes. Such a shocking reveal will definitely have a massive impact in the story. And we can all agree that after so many years we started to see an ending pattern. We have seen for many, many years how Luffy fights the corrupted power. And it always ends with him landing the reins to the ones that aren't corrupt. Each story has good that fights evil and if the world government is the evil. Does this mean that the Lunarians are the good that Luffy will restore to power? Because people need to realize that Luffy kind of does politics. When he liberates a country from its evil ruler, he always replaces them with another ruler like Momo or restores the previous regime to power. In the end, after the world government is defeated, it's not like the world will be left lawless. Pirates aren't really the good guys in the story, and law still needs to be maintained. So my theory is that Hancock will restore the Lunarian clan and be the rulers after the Celestials are defeated. Then if she marries Luffy, he will be the king of the world. But that's a story for another video. If you like One Piece theories that talk only the point, Without wasting your time, hit like and subscribe.